Mac Big Ice Keys here and I'm going to talk a little bit about sorters. So a lot of us have seen sorters like this and have built sorters like this, but they are very cumbersome. They require a lot of materials and the work is arduous and difficult. I've adapted that to something more along these lines for survival play because the tube up top having that third tube of hoppers uh, tends to cause glitches and uh, then resetting it is a real pain. So this is a model I use, but still it requires that comparator, a bunch of redstone, and a repeater, and uh, torches and whatnot. The other thing is it only sorts one item per hopper. So I was trying to figure out what is an old school way to do an item sorting system that is simple and uh, easy to build early on in the game and doesn't take a lot of space and doesn't use a lot of redstone. And I came up with this item sorter which I turned into these item sorters here. So these are dropper sorters, and most of my video is going to talk about this sorter and this sorter. So first I'm going to talk about the, um, this is the double dropper sorter. And basically I have two droppers right here that act as my recipients, and I can put whatever blocks I want to sort into here. I can add them, take them out. Right now I have wool and glass. So I would put the, uh, you know, if I went to the sheep farm and I went to the glass farm or whatever, uh, I would put my glass and sh uh, sheep wool into here and it would go into uh, this dropper right here. When the cart comes by, the detector rail would trigger the dropper. The dropper would shoot one item in here. It would go up. It would deliver the item into these droppers here through those hoppers and uh, it would go back down and pick up any waste and bring the waste back up and deliver it. This is uh, pretty efficient because whatever doesn't go in here should go in here. So the, the way that f it functions actually uh, works pretty well. And at the very end, you will only have two items left in the cart that are not filtered. But um, I can kind of show you how it works. So that's the double sorter. It will, if you just throw a bunch of items in there, it'll sort um, 100 blocks in about four and a half minutes. And if you put single items in, like 18 of single items, it takes about 45 seconds for it to sort those. And um, again, you don't have to have nine items in each dropper. It could just be, you know, whatever you went out and harvested, you could throw them in here real quick and then dump the rest in and have it sorted. Or you could have some sort of system filling into this chest from wherever you're mining or whatnot. So simple sorter there. And then I tried to extend that and I was able to extend it pretty well into the quadruple hopper here. This works. So um, same principle here with the uh, dropper shooting single items into the um, minecart hopper, hopper minecart. And I've done this instead of just having it drain right from a chest because that way is not any quicker and it causes the cart to clog up. So um, this system works and this will sort, let's see, what are the stats on this? This will sort 100 blocks in about 13 minutes, uh, but it does sort between 11 and 16 different blocks. So the disadvantage is time, right? Um, but the advantage is I could have all my wood blocks go into here, all my 1.8 blocks go into here, so on and so forth. So I see this as a good option for like, if I have a long-term project that has, you know, four blocks, and that I need, or maybe eight blocks, and I can put another one over on the other side. This is a sort of that, that I could use right off the bat, starting up in, in survival. You only need five hoppers, that's it, and it's one hopper per, per chest or dropper that you're sorting, because you could put, just put these as chests instead of droppers. I just like the droppers because they're easy to reset. Um, and then when you're done, you can just uh, you know, take the items out and throw them into the chest below. Or if you don't want to do that, you can uh, throw a hopper down here and it'll drain it into the chest below. And you don't need all this redstone either. You really just need one there and one up here and maybe one to get you up the hill. And that's it. Um, 
I was kind of getting frivolous down here and I said, well, if, if it's going to drop from like the wood planks drops down into that chest, from that chest I could have another system where uh, this goes back and forth and drops it into these primed uh, hoppers. So we would prime those and then have a switch back here with redstone that dumps them all when they're full. But really at this point, if you had one hopper per item that you wanted to sort, you might want to move to the redstone because at that point you might have all the materials you need. Of course, maybe you don't. Maybe you still don't have all that iron. Who knows? And the last thing, I did try to extend it to 20, two items per hopper. And on this end, we got, that one was getting sorted. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six down this way. So we had 12 items on that side. And then we had, I think, just three on this side. So 12 and 3 is 15, so 15 times 2, that's 30 items being sorted here, which makes me think that maybe this can be extended a little bit, but I'd have to play with it. The hardest part about this system, and if you're good with redstone and uh, Minecraft, is getting rid of the waste. Whatever is stuck in the hopper because it won't be accepted into the dropper, having to take that out and figure out how to get rid of, rid of it without getting rid of the stuff that you want. So uh, those are my two hoppers, my double dropper hopper, I don't even know what I'm saying, my double dropper sorter, and my quadruple dropper sorter. Um, I looked for videos on this stuff, I could not find anything except for the newer redstone sorting system. So if these exist out there, uh, it would be cool to see those videos. If not, I hope you like it. Uh, they're very, fairly simple. If you need any more help, please let me know in the comments section. And the last thing to end the video, I had one thing I wanted to show that I thought was pretty cool. So um, this is when I was trying to figure out how to get rid of the excess waste in the This Works Hopper Flushing Flusing system. It should say flushing. Um, basically, if I have a hopper like this that's, that's or a dropper that's set to receive um, iron ingots and I have my cart coming and dropping through here and it drops something that I don't want, like an acacia wood, what will happen is it'll charge the comparator and this repeater will send a signal down for this cart to come and flush it out. But the whole, the whole point of this system was to get away from comparators and uh, all those resource drainers. But still, I thought this was a pretty cool thing. And here it comes. So that was pretty neat. Uh, what else? You could also add a light system on top um, to indicate when your droppers are full if you really wanted to, like this. Other than that, that's it. So comment if you like. Uh, I'm sorry. Like if you do. Comment if you like. It's been a long day. Uh, and have a uh, happy new year.